Hello YouTube, this first started out as a take off the front wheels, clean and paint it, turned into a major repair video, so I hope you enjoy watching all parts of it. Uh, I'll just show the rim painted and stuff, I won't really show no work that I've done to it, maybe what they looked like before, but stay tuned if you want to see this part and see what this looked like before, so on with the video, you'll hear me restart it again that way i don't have to edit i'll warn you now that after this it'll be saying hello youtube blah 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 you know me i'm talking too much get to work good morning hello youtube it is only about 78 degrees out here what time is it uh, about 8 30. it's going to get hot today we're supposed to have rain here in the next day or so we are going to do the front wheel bearings. That has a collar, so I guess that beats a snap ring, huh? We'll take it apart and show you what's all in there. We're going to use whatever grease we have. We're not going to be picky. It's not the space oils of riding lawnmower. If all I've got is that gray molly graphite grease or whatever, whatever grease is available is going back in these. They will be washed and clean, though. Uh, Use these to pull the dust cover off. It's probably seen better days. It'll be painted black. So here we go. Let's get to work. Let's talk more work. I always say that, but I know you enjoy listening to me ramble on and on. And... No, we got to throw some work in there. Otherwise, you'll fall asleep on me. Oh, I got to apologize to my friend, Mr. Bruce Pender. Sir, please accept my apology when I told you you were fired because... He lets so much grass get in there. It's John Deere. It looked like a broccoli farm. You, if you looked at my film the other day when I was at her talk, I had grass underneath there so bad. It's unbelievable. It was wrapped around the pulleys. Could have threw a belt. Shame on me. Shame on me. I'm a hypocrite. Oh, I hope he accepts my apology. I hope he watches this video. He usually tries to keep me caught up on him. But okay, now that we got that out of the way, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgiven. I was just teasing him though. Told him I fired him. Mr. Lawnmower Man did that. Let his mower get full of grass under there. Anyway, back to work. This could be too long of a video. Okay, and then you had the collar, then the outer bearing, and then you got your inner bearing. It usually stays in there. We can't find our grease gun. There is some play in this. We don't have time to fix it. We cannot find our grease gun. I am so upset about that. When I cleaned up remodel the shop, I knew right where it was. It was hanging on the wall. Now I don't know where it is. I hate to buy another one. It's one of them little mini pistol grips. You know, it takes them real small cartridges. So that's all I need around the shop here. Uh, I greased my truck with it. It probably took two tubes, but... Well, back to work. I guess we don't get to... Uh, grease that. Uh, we're thinking about painting all that flat black while this is apart. We haven't decided. Depends on what mood we're in. But, uh, I don't think. Nope. Oop, there's a rubber seal back here. See, I'm glad I got this on camera. Go back later to review it. Two of them. See that? Wow. Glad I filmed that. Let me take my other, my good hand, and hold the camera. We'll shut the camera off here. We'll get back to work. We'll soak everything in gas except the rubber parts. Don't soak them in gas. Just wipe them off. Okay, we had enough gas tunes. We didn't use a whole lot. A little on the wire brush. We used these cheapy wire brushes. And then a rag soaked in gas. And then dried it off. I mean, it's just an old garden tractor. We'll probably even spray that white bracket black. Uh, we're never going to restore this mower, but as we do stuff, we might as well make it look better. We are going to repaint it, but as uh, far as like the back of it, where the hydro, all that stuff, greasy stuff behind, we'll clean that the best we can and spray it too. But we're going to go ahead and spray it. Uh, later on in the video, I'm going to show you something on the bearings. That rubber seal I showed you, that was broke off from the bearing, but we're going to stick it back together. You'll see if you want to see that part of the video. So might be kind of a long one today with all the stuff I got to do. We're not going to show the painting in the room or not. We'll just show you the before and after on that. So stay tuned. We'll get a coat of paint on this thing. 
And there you go. Carpenter worked pretty good. You know, someone's probably going to peel off. I mean, it's not a professional paint job. It wasn't professionally prepped. It was just clean with gas, wiped down, and sprayed. But uh, it'll probably look good for a while. This big old rod going across here will look nicer. Enough on that. Let's get busy. Well, we got to get that wheel clean. We're going to go take a break and sit in front of the fan for a couple of minutes. Okay, this is the outer bearing, this is the inner one. This one I said, oh, that's got a rubber seal. Why well, finish tearing off the rest of the way? But I'm going to epoxy that on there. We're going to clean that with some acetone. Well, rubbing alcohol instead of acetone. Now, this part number is different. Okay, we'll take a picture of it. But the bearings are LM 119494. So we'll take a picture of the bearings just in case someone has a tracker like mine watching the video. And it's the same number here. If I can read it all, it's kind of wore off. It says LM 1194. You can see the 9. It's the same exact bearing to me. It's just this one has a different part number probably because of the rubber seal. See that? So we'll snap some photos, then back to work. So we'll epoxy this. It'll hold for whatever. I mean, we're just going to use some real quick epoxy. We'll clean it up. Because we want to keep the grease in there as much as possible. So, there you go. Because, if you look at the bearing, it's... It's pitted. See that? And the front one looks really good so, there enough spent on that i hope that helps somebody we'll snap some photos so all these photos are always at the end of my videos so if you watch the whole thing you get all them nice pictures okay that's a pox i let it cure i might have said the back one of these was rubber no these colors are steel you got one then you put the bearing on you go up the front you do the same thing you put the bearing in you put the collar on and then you put the lock collar on in that order because you look over and I had it sitting on a deck, it's sitting like this in the film when I was filming. Rubbing alcohol, a little quick epoxy, that just doesn't matter. That's that molly graphite grease. We're going to take one of them and just fill the bearings up. It had looked like the same kind of grease in it. but uh, I like to put the red waterproof techie. Uh, I like it, the mobile orange silica, silicone synthetic grease, but... Another time, another day, another place. Okay, back to work. This is too much talking in this video. I always say that. Okay, we have some damage to take care of. Wait till you see the bearing cap. We're going to grind that out smooth. We may epoxy the cap back in if it's loose. Uh, we'll pry it out and do whatever we ever have to grease it again. But uh, We took a ball-peen hammer with the rims in it, and we'll clean that up with a Dremel stone. Or something, you know, it's not jagged. You can cut your finger on as much as I beat on it. Here we go. We'll bring you back when we get this repair done. It's gonna be a long day to do just one. We're only gonna get one wheel done if we're lucky. We got a rainstorm moving in, supposedly late tonight. So stay tuned for more. Well, that's the best I can do with my Dremel tools, which should be okay. Next, we'll show you how bad the cap is I don't know if I can do some body work and hammer it out or not but I definitely want it to fit in there as good as it can to keep out the water and the snow okay on to the next thing is get the cap cleaned up and show you what it looks like look at this thing it's wore right through you can see the you can see light through there can I fix this I know I can park look, look at that what does it take to be that mean to a wheel cap and look how loose it is. When I'm done, I'm going to have to do something because I had to grind out so much damage. I'm going to have to figure out what to put around here. Teflon tape, like anything to mash this in here. Well, I sure ain't going to beat it in like they did. Now it's time to rant and complain. No, just fix it. Look at that. Just fix it. I got little hammers. I'll be back. This is going to take a while today. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, it never ends. I'm glad, I'm glad I'm a mechanic and I'm, thank God that I've got a lot of tools because this is going to take some doing. I don't know if this is tin, pop metal, what is this crap? We'll get it done. It'll be okay. Calm down. Just take a cold drink.
Take a break, turn the fan back on. It keeps the flies away. Flies are a problem today. Too much talking. I keep saying it. We gotta get this video done. It's gonna be a 15 minute joyride. A joyride that, you know what? Never mind. Work. Stop. Stop the camera. Okay, we went ahead and pulled the other cap off the other side and cleaned it up. That's what it looks like. It's not as domed as much as I thought it was. What do you think? Epoxy it. I'm going to put some on the inside too. Epoxy it. Clean it up. Put it on. It's still not tight. Even the good one's not tight. So we'll figure that out. This one's still not even as tight as it could be when it goes in there. See how it goes in and in it. So, we'll figure that out. Uh, we may put a layer of epoxy on it and taper it. So when we tap it on, it goes in there tighter. That's probably what we're going to do. So, back to work. This is going to take a while. Uh, we're going to put some epoxy on it. Go into the air-conditioned house for a few hours. Come out and then work on this later. Might even be later this evening when it cools down. So, stay tuned for more. Okay, we've got a layer of epoxy on here. Even on this part. Put some uh, a foil tape down in there. So the epoxy couldn't drip through. We're going to house let this cure for about two or three hours. We want it sandable. So we'll be back to finish this project later on. It might, like I said, it might wait till evening for it to cool down. So we're going in the house to the air conditioning, play on the computer. There's not a lot of videos to watch. People haven't been posting a whole lot. I'm subbed to like a hundred channels. I'm lucky if I get two videos a day.